Everyone wants to have brighter skin that does not age. It's been a holy grail for skincare providers. One agent that may help with increased sun-induced pigmentation and photoaging is a medication commonly used for severe acne. It's called isotretinoin and it is a synthetic vitamin A analog. Hi, my name is Dr. Yesudian and I'm a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Topical retinoid creams have been used for cutaneous aging for many decades. Let's look at the evidence on whether oral isopretinoin may also be helpful in reversing cutaneous aging and give brighter skin. A study by Hernandez Perez showed that patients who took low-dose isopretinoin noted improvement in skin wrinkling, skin elasticity, reduction of pigmented lesion, and decreased mottling pigmentation of sun-damaged skin. The dose used in the study was about 10 to 20 milligrams three times a week for two months. Minimal side effects were noted, with less than 10% experiencing dry skin. The authors suggest that oral isotretinoin made the skin softer, lighter, smoother, and more youthful. Even after using the medication for just two months, they noted that the effects of the drugs lingered on for many months or years on the skin. However, patients should be warned that the skin may initially look a bit drier and scaly, and in some it could also become a bit red and inflamed. However, after two to three weeks, the skin develops a tolerance to these side effects, and therefore these could improve spontaneously. Two other studies suggest that oral isotretinoin increases collagen fibers and improves skin wrinkling, skin texture, and discoloration. Here's a study from Brazil where oral isotretinoin was used at a dose of 20 milligrams three times a week for three months. In this image, we can see improvement in color and the skin appears a bit brighter on the right. Here's another image from the study. This patient was given oral isotretinoin 10 milligrams three times a week for three months. There's an improvement of texture, lessening of skin pores, with reduction of wrinkles around the eye. In a review of this topic, a total of six studies involving 251 patients summarized that isotretinoin could be useful in treating photoaging. However, the authors mentioned that there is still insufficient statistically significant evidence for the use of isotretinoin purely for skin aging. So how could isotretinoin work? It does not directly lighten the skin. Instead, it reduces the pigmentation by decreasing melanin production and by mild peeling of the surface skin. It could also inhibit the transfer of the melanin from the melanocytes to the surface cells called the keratinocytes. Note that the use of isotretinoin for skin lightening is off-label and not recommended by most dermatologists. It does have potential side effects like liver changes, increases in the fat levels in the blood, and rarely causes mood changes too. It can cause severe defects in the babies if mothers take it whilst pregnant. So it's an absolute contraindication for any young lady who's planning pregnancy. These risks need to be carefully considered before it is used for non-approved indications like skin lightening, skin brightening, and reversing skin aging. All the studies used isotretinoin only for short bursts of about two to three months. There are some reports that longer use of isotretinoin may actually paradoxically age the skin. A natural alternative to isotretinoin is vitamin A. I've done a video on how it can be used as a potential substitute to treat acne instead of isotretinoin. However, note that vitamin A can also be used only for short periods and long-term consumption may produce toxicity. The best way to try and lighten and brighten the skin is by natural methods like sun protection, using tinted sunscreens, having a good diet and by avoiding stress. In some, low-dose isotretinoin may be an adjunct. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.